the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, He conceived by the, the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for, for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, made by his passion and the cross, be brought, brought to the glory of his, of his resurrection, resurrection through the same, same Christ, Christ our Lord. Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us. And, and may the, the souls of the faithful departed, departed through the mercy of God, rest in peace. In Amen. St. Michael, Archangel, defend, defend us in this day of battle. battle. Be our, be our safeguard, safeguard against, against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. Of the devil. And May God restrain him, we humbly pray. And do thou, o Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust down into hell Satan, and all evil spirits who on the throne of the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. O angel of God, my God in there, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side. The light, light and, and God, God to rule and, and guide. guide. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Sisters and brothers, good morning. Morning. morning sister. Our entrance, hymn number 275, 275. Praise the Lord in many voices. Let us all rejoice, for the Lord is our King. Let, let us shout, shout to the Lord, Lord. Let, let us sing, oh, let, let us sing. We can, we trust, can trust in him and the work of his hand, for oh, his justice and mercy is on every land. And by the might of his decree, all the heavens came to be, by the hand of his mercy, the command of a father's great mercy and he will, he will never let mercy, mercy go away. Oh, praise the Lord. Yes, praise the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord in many voices. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord in many towns. Praise the Lord. Yes, praise the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord in many voices. Praise the Lord in many voices. Praise the Lord. By the, By the word of God, God all the earth, earth came to be. be. See the power of God in the sea, oh, in the sea. Let us fear the Lord, for he spoke and we were made. And he guided our being with the Father's aid. And he has brought mighty nations down, scattered all upon the ground. By the heart of his mercy, it was part of the Father's great mercy, and he will never let mercy go away. Oh, praise the Lord, yes, praise the Lord, oh, praise the Lord in many voices. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord in many tongues. Praise the Lord, yes, praise the Lord, oh, praise the Lord in many voices. Praise the Lord in many voices. Praise the Lord. Good morning to everybody. Good morning. God. And let us bless our God in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and 
The communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My sisters, my brothers, let us now call to mind our sins. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May God Almighty have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Psalms and Canticles, fr Friday, week two. O oh God, you will not spurn a humbled, contrite heart. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. O oh, wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done? That you may be justified when you give sentence and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart, then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins, turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help. With a spirit of fervor, sustain me that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O oh, rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O oh, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humbled, contrite heart, you will not spurn. In your goodness, show favor to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you'll be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocaust offered on your altar. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O God, God you, you will, will not spurn, spurn a humble, humble contrite heart. heart. In spite of your anger, Lord, have compassion. Lord, I have heard of your fame. I stand in awe at your deeds. Do them again in our days. In our days, make them known. In spite of your anger, have compassion. God comes forth from Timan. The Holy One comes from Mount Paran. His splendor covers the sky, and his glory fills the earth. His brilliance is like the light. Rays flash from his hands. There, his power is hidden. You march out to save your people, to save the one you have anointed. You made a part for the, your horses in the sea, in the region of the mighty waters. This I heard and I tremble with terror. My lips quiver at the sound. Weakness, Weakness invades inv my bones. My steps fail beneath me. Yet I calmly wait for the doom that will fall upon the people who assail us. For even though the fig does not blossom, nor fruit grow on the vine, even though the olive crop fail, and fields produce no harvest, even though flocks vanish from the folds, and stalls stand empty of cattle. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord, and exult in God my Savior. The Lord my God is my strength. He makes me leap like the deer. He guides me to the high places. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
In spite of your anger, anger, Lord, have compassion. compassion. Oh, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Oh, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Zion, praise your God. The bars of your gates, he has blessed the children within you. He established peace on your borders. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow white as wool. He scatters hoar frost like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like crumbs. The waters are frozen at his touch. He sends forth his word and it melts them. At the bread of his mouth, the waters flow. He makes his word known to Jacob, to Israel his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, oh, praise, praise the Lord, Lord Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Let us pray. Stir up the will of your faithful, we pray, O Lord our God, that striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion, they may receive in greater measure the healing remedies your kindness bestows. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. I, John, saw an angel come down from heaven with the key of the abyss in his hand and an enormous chain. He overpowered the dragon the primeval servant, which is the devil and Satan, and shut the entrance and sealed it and chained him up for a thousand years. He threw him into the abyss and shut the entrance and sealed it over him to make sure he would not deceive the nations again until the thousand years had passed. At the end of that time, he must be released but only for a short while. Then I saw thrones and I saw those who are given the power to be judges take their seats on them. I saw the souls of all who had been beheaded for having witnessed for Jesus and for having preached God's words and those who refused to worship the beast or his statue and would not have the brand mark on their foreheads or hands. They came to life and reigned with Christ for a thousand years. Then I saw a great white throne and the one who was sitting on it. In his presence, earth and sky vanished, leaving no trace. I saw the dead, both great and small, standing in front of his throne. While the book of life was opened and other books opened, which were the record of what they had done in their lives, by which the dead were judged. The sea gave up all the dead who were in it. Death and Hades were emptied of the dead that were in them. And every one was judged according to the way in which he had lived. Then death and Hades were thrown into the burning lake. This burning lake is a second death, and anybody whose name could not be found written in the book of life was thrown into the burning lake. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. The first heaven and the first earth had disappeared now and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city and the new Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven, as beautiful as a bride all dressed for her husband. 
The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Here God lives among men. Here God lives among men. My soul is longing and yearning, is yearning for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my soul ring out their joy to God, the living God. Here, Here God, God lives among, among the men. The sparrow herself finds a home, and the swallow a nest for her brood. She lays her young by your altars, Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Here, Here God, God lives among, among the men. They are happy who dwell in God's house, forever singing your praise. They are happy whose strength is in you. They walk with ever-growing strength. Here, Here God, God lives among, among the men. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. direct hold your heads high because your liberation is near at hand Hallelujah. 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 my sisters my brothers the Lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke glory to you O Lord Jesus told his disciples a parable. Think of the fig tree, and indeed every tree. As soon as you see them bud, you know that summer is now near. So with you when you see these things happening, know that the kingdom of God is near. I tell you solemnly, before this generation has passed away, all will have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I believe that this reading is really telling us, you know, that I don't think that the emphasis is on the fact that the kingdom is near. At least we should place the emphasis on the fact that the Lord is telling us, be careful in what you trust. Now, what do you put your trust in? Be careful that you don't put your trust in what is passing away. Now, and it is very easy to do. Now, be careful you do not put your trust in people, whether family, friends, politicians, ideologies, things, possession. I know very well that we have a weakness to do things like that. But the Lord is saying, be very careful. Because if you set your heart on things that are disposable, you will become disposable. We will become disposables. No? And uh, the first reading tells us about what happened to those of us who are the dip disposables. We are going into the lake of fire and we are going to have the second death. No? So that, that's the idea. But it all depends on what we put our trust in. Instead, let us be sure to put our trust, our faith and hope in what will not pass away. And what we are told is that everything will pass away, but my words will not pass away. And we know that Jesus is the word. And his words will never pass away. No? So in the midst of natural, economic, and other disasters, that word offers us truth on solid ground. Solid ground on which to withstand the forces of evil in our lives. Sometimes they have evil in our lives. We bring upon ourselves or from members of our family. And in the, the corrupt culture around us, the culture could also weigh us down. No? Bad values could weigh us down. No? But we need that solid ground on which to build our lives, to build our homes. And you know what Jesus said, that once a building rock, nothing will be able to blow down your house. 
and knock it down. And that's how we stand firm forever. The word which is the rock, we build our life on it because nothing can even, by the way, even the rock that Jesus talked about will pass away. But the word that will never pass away. The word will never pass away. So we have to learn to do that, no? Build our lives on the word. The word represents the true vision of life. So if you never get the word, we're not going to have a proper vision of life. And that is why many Christians, even though they talk nice words about how God is wonderful, they end up taking for themselves a vision of the, the world and not the vision of the word. Those two things rhyme nicely. The vision of the... They take for themselves the vision of the world and not the vision of the word. What the Lord wants us to have is a vision of the word, the vision of the word and the timeless values of, of the kingdom. Because these are the things that are going to last forever. And therefore, because they're going to last forever, no, they can, they, the, in them, in that word, we have the truth. You know? We have the truth. No? We have whatever we need. No? In other words, we have to remember that not, once we have that word, Nothing can keep us down. Once you hold on to that word, nothing can keep us down. When life seems most confused and most dismantled, that is broken values, social fabric, family life, cultural norms, and so forth, we turn to God's word. By the way, we should always have God's word. But at least we have a chance to turn to God's word for truth, guidance and stability the word the rock of ages will cleft for us remember we talk about that rock of ages cleft for me that's a, a fundamentalist song and once again let me tell you it is based on that part of the bible where god is so much energy that if you see the face of god you die and moses said god i would like to see you I said, no, 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 you can't see me. In other words, you will die. So God said, okay, what I will do, I'll hide you in that rock. And when I pass, I could look at my back. No? And, and that's it. Rock of age is cleft for me. The Lord hides us in the rock. In other words, in order to protect us against anything at all that will destroy us. So rock of age is cleft for us. Put us in the path of virtues, faith, hope, and love. Now, these go with the word of God, no? With the word, these are the things that last ever. Remember Paul says, faith, hope, and love, these endure forever. And the greatest of these is love. But they come out of faithfulness to the word that will not pass away. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Let us pray. Father, in your will is our peace. Father, in your will is our peace. Father, we praise you for your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through the Holy Spirit, he offered himself in sacrifice to you that we might be delivered from death and selfishness and be free to live in your peace. Father, in your will is our peace. We accept this new day as your gift, Lord. Grant that we may live in newness of life. Father, in your will is our peace. You made all things and keep all things in being. Give us the insight to see your hand at work in them all. Father, in your will is our peace. Your Son sealed the new and everlasting covenant in his blood. Help us to live by this covenant and honor it. Father, in your will is our peace. As Jesus died on the cross, blood and water flowed from his side. As we share in the Eucharist, pour out your spirit upon us. Father, in your will is our peace. And let us say to Francis and Jesus, our bishops to the Lord, praying that their teaching will help us embrace Jesus' the word as the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end of all of history and the Lord of all creation. 
And may we listen and respond to his words that will never pass away, we pray. Father, in your will is our peace. We bring the sick into your holy presence, dear Lord. Let your divine mercy embrace them and bring them healing of mind, body, and soul. We pray. Father, in your will is our peace. Grant the petitions we carry in the silence of our hearts and stay with us today, Lord. We pray. Father, in your will is our peace. We thank you, Lord, for giving us yourself to us in holy communion. May the Holy Eucharist be for us a taste of the fullness of salvation, the pledge of future glory. And we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread. We offer you fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become for us, will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight today be pleasing to you, Lord our God. Wash us, Lord, from our iniquity and cleanse us from our sin. Pray, my sisters, pray, my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name. For our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the sacred offerings which at your bidding we dedicate to your name. And in order that through these gifts we may become worthy of your love, grant us unfailing obedience to your commands uh, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ Jesus, our Lord and God. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. holy. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Holy Spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Save yes, us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jason, our Bishop, all the religious, the clergy, and your entire people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And we lift up to the Lord, Jonathan Taylor, and the names of the souls that are written and placed on this altar. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them in the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. My dear friends, let us now call out to God, our Father, giving God thanks and praise for sending the word that we can have all the guidance that we need to do well in this life and to be happy with God in heaven forever. So let us dare say, Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done, be done on earth, earth as, as it is in heaven. In heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give to you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your holy will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Moved by God's love, let us offer each other the divine peace. Peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of 
Sisters, my brothers, behold Jesus. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ be for us a healing remedy and keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. How good the people enter the feast, all are invited, the greatest and least. The banquet is ready, now to be shared, join in the heavenly feast that God has prepared. Around this table we dine as king, beloved family of God. We share the body of Christ the Lord, here we become what we eat. Gather the people, enter the feast, all are invited, the greatest and least. The banquet is ready, now to be shared, join in the heavenly feast that God has prepared. Around this table we tell great tales, the wondrous stories of grace. We hold the memory of Christ the Lord, so we become what we eat. Gather the people, enter the feast, all are invited, the greatest and least. The banquet is ready. Now to be sure, join in the heavenly feast that God has prepared. Gather the people, enter the feast, all are invited to greet and leave. The banquet is ready, now to be shared, join in the heavenly feast. That God has Let us, dear friends, make the act of spiritual communion. My Lord Jesus, the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end, we believe that you're truly present in the Holy Eucharist. 
because you do not want to leave us orphans and because you want to pour out your life and love and goodness in every one of us. Lord Jesus, we love you above all else and we desire to receive into our hearts and souls and minds. But Lord, at this moment, we cannot receive you sacramentally. So come to us in a spiritual manner. Come, Lord, and take over our hearts, souls, and minds. Live in us, Lord. Reign from within us, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your great em embrace, that blessed assurance that we belong to you. Help us, Lord, to embrace you and unite ourselves wholly and completely to you. And Lord, never permit us to be separated from you. Amen. Stand. Through the loving mercy of our God, the rising sun has come to visit us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior in the house of David, his servant. As he promised by the lips of holy ones, those who were his prophets from of old. A Savior who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us that free from fear and saved from the hands of our foes, we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him to make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of all of their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. Through the loving mercy of our God, the rising, the rising sun, sun has come, come to, to visit, visit us. us. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that those to whom you give the joy of participating in divine mysteries may never be separated from you. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God Almighty bless you and keep you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord with our lives. And, and, be to and God. enjoy the rest of the day, my beloved. And same, same to, to you, Father. Brother. Number 295, 295, till all my people are one. Stand together, together for what you, you believe. believe. Work for what must be done. Love each other in all that you do. Till all my people are one. Spread the peace, my brothers. Spread it everywhere. Make the world know right from wrong. Help the world to care. Stand together for what you believe. Work for what must be done. Love each other in all that you do. Till all my people are one. Cry out the sound of freedom. Make every sound to be heard. People crying painfully. Yeah, they're every word. Stand together for what you believe. Work 
for what must be done. Love each other in all that you do, till all my people are one. Till all my people.